Joe Boop out of Victoria in the 67. Jeannie Barber on the 19J. And then Mike Riley in the 14. Here we go. Green flag, we're off. Michael Pesek quickly out to an early lead here. Watch Barber in that 19 on the bottom, rolling around there. Keep an eye on that 19. Barber and Danielson down the back straightaway, the 19 and the 87 there. Michael Pesek, your leader, the 22. Here comes the 19 up to second. 87 third, and the one of Chuck Barber up to fourth here. Keep an eye, started in the last row in that 19J, Jeannie Barber. She's up into fifth now. She's got a fast car. That's Wade Jones' old car. They picked it up, put her in it. So uh, here comes Chuck Barber to third in the one. 87 got real loose out of turn number four there. Pesic, Barber, Barber, your top three. We'll be going eight laps, eight laps. Michael Pesic told me he did a little bit of work on that car this week. He had to change the heads out. He said it was getting a little weak after about three seasons. So he did a little work, obviously it worked for him. He's got that thing rolling pretty good here. Coming up on two to go, two to go next time. Bye, Barber on the bottom. Here comes Challenger 22 down the back straightaway. Pesic says, no sir, slams the door, drops it to the bottom, gonna roll the bottom, make him pass. No, here comes Barber back on the bottom. Pesic leads it. Right, two to go, two to go. Oh, Tommy rocking the five, going around down in turn number three and four. White flag. late models so that kind of sent a few cars over that direction plus cotton bowls running tonight they've been bringing in some cars and some of them guys been coming over here so here we go chad rockefeller out front oh petty pushes up car goes high here comes the 84 it's kevin goodwin on the inside there dj schrote three wide down into turn number three Jared Maupin in the middle, Ellison on the top. Three wide down the front straightaway. Chad Rockefeller out front. Kevin Goodwin on the hunt here. Here comes Jared Maupin in that BD1. Moppin tries the high side, not this time. Here comes Goodwin on the bottom trying to go for the lead here. Not this time. Here comes Moppin trying the outside. Going to follow Chad Rockefeller in there. Oh, Goodwin pushes up, allows Moppin around the outside. And that BD1, here he comes. Man, that thing's been a rocket ship. New leader, Jared Moppin in the BD1. Oh no, DJ Show gonna go around all by himself. Keeps it rolling, one solo you are black flag, so you don't wanna stop, it ain't gonna gain you nothing. One solo you wind up uh, headed to the pits anyway.
Two to go. Promiser Jeremy Davenport over there on the back straightaway as he gets up into the wall out of turn number two. White flag, one lap left for Jared Moppin in the BD1. Higgins trying to get up into fourth here, and he gets it done. Jared Higgins up to fourth. Ricky Adcock out front. Victor Vargas second. These two no strangers. They've been racing hard here at Texana for many years. Both real super competitive guys. Both won championships out here. Done real well. So uh, Adcock out front. Vargas second. Keep an eye on Rude. Dustin Rude. He uh, he's been tearing it up. He won at South Texas Speedway last weekend in the Dwarf Car Series. So uh, Dustin Rude in that 41 T never a slouch. He's always a competitor in that Dwarf Car. Following Mod Light Heat Race number two will be our first set of Sprint Car Heat Races tonight for the Southern United Sprint Cars. Adcock still got it under control here. Vargas trying to hang on, Rude trying to track him down. Sun going to play a little havoc on us here. That sun just dropping down right in our eyes. Your winner, Ricky Adcock in the three. How about Dustin Root, though? I told you I'll keep an eye on that 41T. Yeah, we had a late entry here. Kind of got us screwed up. Lights are out. That's the 94 of Clayton Carter, I believe. I don't think that's Clayton Carter. It looks like Clayton Carter's old dwarf car. The 94 Mod Light would be Clayton Carter. These two are late entries. Didn't even make it on my paper. Either one of the 94s. So, uh, well. Jared forging that 11, your leader. Man, he blew up last race. Told me he went and got him a scrapyard motor. Boy, it looks like a scrapyard motor for sure, right? As he's out running everybody. The 04 is Joseph Penny. Man, I got, I got no cars in this race on my paperwork. It's the craziest thing I ever saw. Oh, what the heck's going on here? I got Jared Forgy, but I don't have neither 94 or the 04. 
I don't have the 39. Got Mike Cushions in the 13. Coming up on two to go here for Jared 4G in the 11. So Penny in the 04 keeps it rolling here. The white flag. Can't throw a caution on the white flag. The 11 of Jared Ford is going to come around here and pick up his heat race win. Got him a new motor. Obviously working well. The 11 of Jared Ford, your winner. Out of Alvin, Texas. Here we go, heat number one for our sprint cars. Trey Burke quickly out front, Mike Gabriel second. Here comes a 10 on the inside. Aiden Welch, he started inside the third row, quickly up to third. Oh, Burke way sideways as he gets through one and two. Welch quickly up to second here in that 10 car. Here comes the 76 trying to pass for third. Daniel King, Daniel King up to third now. Trey Burke, though, he's uh, putting it on him here. Trey Burke in that 63 car. Two to go, Trey Burke, two to go for the 63 here. White flag, one lap left for the 63. Your winner out of Alvin, Texas. Your winner out of Alvin, Texas, Trey Burke in the 63. Going by you there. Lights out. Man, that sun is tough, ain't it? Hard to see anything out in turn number three here. Here we go. Woo, the 12 with a good jump there. Trey Schmidt picking up the early lead. Kind of strung out at this point. Schmidt, Welch, Lewis Sr. And Willie Reese.
two to go right here on Trey Schmidt. Two to go. White flag, one lap left. Winner out of Houston, Texas, Trey Schmidt in the number 12. There you go. Garcia on the outside, picking up the quick lead. As the 28 skates up, opens the door. For the 35, Chris Henson. Garcia, your leader, Henson second. Cooper third now. There goes the seven on the move. Rod Craddock. Here we go, Isaiah Garcia. Oh, here comes the 28 with a big move under Chris Henson in that 35. 28 of James Cooper back to second. Henson way out of shape here up high. The seven now up to third. Rod Craddock in that seven. Garcia starting to pull away just a little bit here in that 17. Two to go next time by, two to go. White flag, one lap left, Garcia out front. Your winner out of Harlingen, Isaiah Sita. Outside front row, the 13M out of Corpus Christi, Ben Maklicek. Jacoby McLevin in the, out of Victoria in the 74. The 16, Jason Turnmeyer out of Danbury. Inside row three, the 9C of Caitlin Leonard out of Sinton. Outside the 34 out of Corpus Christi, Ryan Carlucci. Inside row four, the 174, Michael Pesic out of Victoria. And the one, Triton Temple out of Corpus Christi, bringing up the rear. Macklin check out front on the 13M. Turn by, and then Caitlin Leonard. Your top three. Here comes Triton Temple. Keep an eye on that one car.
Ben Maklicek, Caitlin Leonard, Triton Temple, your top three, coming up on the white flag next time by. Top four will transfer to the A main. Top four will go straight to the A main here. Your winner, Ben Maklicek in the 13M, followed by Kate Leonard, Triton Temple, and Jason Turnmeyer, your top four, are going to be headed straight to the A main here. And a solo spin on that, we asked the 8C to leave the track because only one solo and you have to uh, take it to the pits. He will be scored dead last in this one. Then Fox out front, Jamie Deer second. Here comes Westfall on the inside. That 32, keep an eye on him as well. Jason Fitch, he has yet to miss an A main this season. Made every single one. And all but one, he's came right out of the heat race to the A, so... Uh, He's been on fire in that 32, Nova. At 17, Eid, Lynn Fox starting to drive away from him a little bit. Kind of stacked up right behind him there, behind Jamie Deer in that 15D. Johnny Westall in the nine, making a big run on the bottom here to get by Jamie Deer in the 15D. A great race here for third. Jamie Deer and Jason Fitch was right there. Jamie Deer pulls away from him going down the back, but here comes your winner. 17E, that's going to be Lynn Fox going to your A main. It's going to be Lynn Fox, Johnny Westall, Jamie Deer, and Jason Fitch, your top four. Here we go. 21G, Steve Grants powers it down into turn number one. Had a little lead, but here comes the 25 back on the inside. Nathan Rahi side by side down the back straightaway. Got some visitors over in turn number three. They're going to watch it from the uh, other side of the fence out there. Gaither now making his move up into second. Gaither coming to the bottom here, trying to get under Rahi down into turn three. Gaither to the point here. Dylan Gaither, new leader in the five. Here comes Steve Grass up to second. Had fallen back to third. Gets back into second there. Rahi now on the top. 
Ain't working out for him. That top is just a little too slick still. Here comes Villarreal, gonna try the top on the 21G, that 30, to see if he can go around the top side. We haven't seen that done yet. Looks like he's gonna get it. And he gets it done, he makes the pass on the 21G there. Cody Tesh now drives on the inside of Nathan Rahi. Looks like problems for the 21G. Look like he's got much motor going down the straightaway all of a sudden. Here comes Cody Tesh, gonna drop to the inside. Cody Tesh up to third now. GW Hassan making his way into fourth from the back. New leader, Memphis Villarreal in the 30V. Dylan Gaither second, Monty Chamberlain up to third, battling with Cody Tesh. GW Hassan trying to stay out of the B main. Oh, problems for the 747. Your winner out of Corpus Christi, Memphis Villarreal in the 30V. Corey Beard quickly out front in the 44. Jacob Burnett in the 04. Here comes Cameron Starry in the 741. Shannon Maurer in the 02. Gary Butler on the bottom. And Burnett now into second. Cameron Starry up to third. You got Cord Beer, Jacob Burnett, Cameron Starry, and here comes Shannon Maurer. Butler and Maurer down the back straightaway. Maurer and Starry both managed to make the pass on the outside. Well, Maurer ain't made the pass yet. Here comes Butler back to the inside to hang on to fourth, the transfer spot. Here comes Cinebaldi in the 82 to get under Maurer here. Gonna take the fifth spot away. Oh no, problems for Butler in the six. Butler with issues, he's gonna have to pull it in the infield. He was in the transfer spot with two to go. That turns it over to the 0-2 of Shannon Maurer. And Cinebaldi had a good drive under Maurer and Maurer saw the six kind of fade. Man, look, he's shot out of a gun like, hey, here we go. Give me a transfer spot, baby. White flag, one lap left, Cord Beard in the 44C. Burnett in the 04 trying to track him down. Here he comes. We got a race for the win here. Here comes Burnett on the outside in the 04. 
Cord Beard, though, going to hang on. You're winning a 44C Cord Beard. First night out in his brand new car. He gets him a heat race win. Straight transfer to the A main. All right, here we go. Eddie Ross, Mason Castaneda. Gonna open the door wide open for the bottom there. Castaneda with a big run down into turn number one in the outside. Chad Moppin in the BD2. We saw him win the IMCA modified heat race. Now he jumps out front here. Steve Whitaker Jr. up to third. Here comes Brian Rye on the inside. Trying to get around Castaneda for fourth. BD2, BD1, 89, C in the 184. Your top four. Problems for Trent Beaver as he pulls it in the infield in the 14. Problems for Trent Beaver there. Two laps to go. Here comes Steve Whitaker Jr. to challenge Eddie Ross. White right flag, one lap left. What BD2? Jared Moppin, your leader. Jared Moppin, your winner out of College Station, Texas, in the BD2, followed up by the BD1 of Eddie Ross, the 89C, Steve Whitaker Jr. in the 184 of Brian Rye. Keep an eye on him on the outside front row. You never know what's going to happen. We know that 82 is fast. He's been fast every time he's come here. Well, Welcome to the racing world. Front straight away into the wall. First lap. We got problems over in turn number one and two here. J.D. Leg out front. Your leader. Gilbert Pettis in the three. Second. Here comes Dustin Witchie all the way from last to third in one lap. Of course, that's some extracurricular activity over there on one and two. Here comes Witchie on the inside, try to get around Pettis. He's going to get it done in that 23. JD Leg still out front in that 82. Dustin Witchy, watch out. We got 23s coming together here. Witchy gets by him. Dustin Witchy up to second.
big moves out of Cooper Kaliba all the way from last to second in two turns pretty much. Stock B main, factory stock B main. You should be lining up. Renner, which he's still out front here in that 59. Cooper Kaliban, the 38, trying to run her down. Matt Hillen struggling a little bit back here at third, but he's getting around us still. Two to go, two to go. Kayla Trimble way high. Kylie Fitch in the 47 with a big run getting by her. A couple of young ladies there fighting it out. Oh, we got lap traffic. White flag for the 59, Brianna Witchie. Your winner out of Corpus Christi in the 59, Brianna Witchie. Ryan Carlucci on the pole. Like uh, Steve said, keep an eye on that 747 GW. He had a flat in the heat race. He's fast. He's going to have to work through some traffic here. Michael Pesek inside the third row. Nathan Rahi. Here we go. Carlucci out front. Here comes the three on the outside. That's what we want to see. We want to see more outside groove. Picking it up, and that's getting it done right there. Right now, G. Doing it off in there hot. That number three he rolling. Here comes Carlucci back on the bottom, though. Rahi in tow on the inside, but watch that three car. He's rolling on that outside. Got that momentum up. Oh, man, that was close. Carlucci almost puts it in his left rear. Where's Carden now up in the mix in that 8C? Here comes Carlucci making three wide, coming out of turn number two. Pesic on the bottom. Carlucci backs out and pulls in there to third. Oh, no, oh. Lewis Carden going to go around. Still rolling. He can still make going. this. It was a nice move there by the 8C. Oh, the kind three of gets into up, the left rear at 34, it looked like. Going to send them both around. We're going to bring a caution out on that one. All that for a wreck in one. Rahi out front in that 25 out of Corpus Christi. Michael Pestick, no stranger around here. He's, uh, he's a fast one running street stocks all the time. He won the street stock heat. Now he's in the factory stock. Here we go. Seven forty-seven, trying to roll the outside along with that thirty-four. Oh, the eleven D just like had an anchor on that thing going backwards. 
John Drexler, oh, way sideways, hang on to it, John. Oh, he clips the HC, go, HC, yeah. Go, Lewis. Ah, no, nah, looks like he may have broke something good. No shortcuts now, we can't take any shortcuts. This uh, B mains are like this, folks. They're usually caution fest. Let's see if we can't get a good run here. Get going. Come on, guys. Cinebaldi trying to roll the outside. Here comes GW Hassan on the inside. Rocky Michael Carlock in that 76. Blaze it out on the outside. Trying to roll it. Trying to make the feature. Oh, the 74 in front of him. Look out. Jacoby McLevin goes around. He tried a big move out of turn number four. It didn't work. Good job by the 76 not to wreck him. Cost 76 a lot of ground. Now the 11D's caught back up. Raw, he's just staying on the bottom there. Everybody else seems to be content just to make it to the A tonight. modified you should be lined up your top eight top seven don't really got a lot to worry about actually the top eight they spaced out enough that they can finish here and do just fine they're in the a main but they all get worried about the guy behind them so they overdrive the heck out of them Nathan Rahi in that 25 out front. Well, now they got a little bit of lap traffic to deal with. See how that goes. May change the uh, finishing order up a little bit. Rahi bobbled through one and two, closed those other guys up right on his back bumper, and now he's got lap traffic to contend with also. We got lap traffic here. Rahi oh, trying to go under the 11. move to the inside Pesic goes to leader Rahi. Oh, his song's going to get together with a 74. Here we go, Chad Rockefeller from the pole. Khalees Sellier outside. Keep an eye on that BD1. He's gonna be doing all he can. Good one in that 84, hiking that left front off the ground. It ain't touching the ground down the back straightaway hardly. Here comes Higgins around the outside now. Oh, the 45 goes around, hits the tire. We're gonna bring a caution. 
little bobble in turn three there. Sorry, both of us going same time. Hard to hear with two headsets on and all and this there goes on. Rockefeller with some good dig coming out. Holding off that BD1 who's charging hard on the bottom. Oh, good one, a bad start that time. Here comes DJ Schroeder, Foster Ellison. Trying to make it three wide down the back straightaway. That ain't a good idea at this point. Chad Rockefeller gonna open the door here for the BD1. Jared Moppin, your new leader. Here comes Khalif Sellier on the bottom. Oh no! Goodwin goes around in the 84. Oh. Here we go, we're going green. Big launch by Moppin in the BD1. Jerry Moppin in that BD1. He's got that thing rolling, folks. Chad Rockefeller hanging around his second here. Khalees Sellier doing all he can to try to get by him. Garrett Higgins, who's been running fourth. He's been fast uh, here Higgins several to times. To Digging on the, the outside to turn four. I don't know that there's enough out there yet. Higgins back to the bottom to try to get under the two here and get up into third. Here comes the 37 of Garrett Higgins. Oh, it's a close race, and here comes Davenport. Out of nowhere, Davenport up into fourth place. Just like that. Watch out, guys. Here he comes. Great drive by Higgins. The problem he's going to have, he's a long ways back from your leader now. 37 on a roll. The 84, good one, headed to the oh. pit. Oh, the 91 in Davenport goes around in front of the field. That may help him in this situation. That BD1 sure does have some good dig off the corner. Moppin driving away here, Jared Moppin. Young Texas A&M grad living out of College Station. That BD1 start to drive away with it. All right, let's see. Oh, they're moving up in a nice tight group in the back here. BD1 just continuing to motor by and lap after lap. Garrett Higgins in the four car and the two car, they uh, just don't seem to have what it takes tonight, just don't have that dig. Halfway, halfway this time by on the BD1, halfway. One thing about it, when you make a little bobble, it costs you here, just like the four car there. Cultural line through the infield. That one ain't a very good line, but he's uh, he's getting it done. Oh, 
no. Petty in the 43 goes oh, around. And the 43 goes rolling. around all by himself. Single foul restart. That was their chance to get by that BD-1. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen as he rockets off the two. Top four seem to have it covered here. Hoppin had one really good launch on that restart. Gapped him by six car lengths. Here comes Rockefeller trying the inside on Higgins. Higgins slides up a little bit. Rockefeller digging off the two. It's a good battle. Here we go with two to go. Can Rockefeller get by Higgins? That's the best race on the track right now is the BD1s long gone. I hate not to do it to him again, but the 91 has moved all the way back up to fourth place. There, there we have it, the checkered flag, the BD-1 of Jared Moppin. Uh, well, track wasn't to everybody's liking. A little slick on the bottom and not really going anywhere on the top. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, a uh, tough track. Everybody's fighting for the bottom, and we luckily found it pretty early and uh, just had the car ready to go on the bottom, and uh, it worked out. Anybody want to thank? Yeah, I got to thank Skip Gray for letting me drive his race cars, uh, uh, Gray's Recycling, Swenson Racing Shocks, uh, and everybody else that helps us out. All right, congratulations. Jerry Moppin, folks. Keep an eye on your front two here. They ought to have a good race. And never count out Dustin Rudin, that 41T as well. So here we go. Lights are out. We're going right now. Oh, Adcock almost did him a little dirty there. Ran him up a little bit. I'm not going to call it dirty, but he moved him up. Shot underneath him. Oh, oh and the 11 car deep. just went in there a little too hot. Was a few cars up. Into three here. 
and I mean slow rolling. That ought to change any second now. What looked like could be disaster turned out pretty good so far. Got one spinning coming out of four. Well, that's something you don't see every day, a race car spin out. Do a 360, keep going, and not bring out the yellow. Thanks, guys. That three car, Ricky Adcock, been pretty fast since the drop. car just rockets off of turn four, just jumps to the lead. Oh! See if they keep it going. Nope. Nope. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Here we go. Green flag. The 24 got a jump on the three that time. Can't quite make it stick going into one, but the three better not be sleeping. He's got some company. Twenty four of Victor Vargas running in second. Hunting down Ricky Adcock in the three car. Good battle for third and fourth there. Vargas isn't going away. He's hanging right there with uh, Adcock. Really waiting. Maybe he's uh, waiting to, to make his last lap charge. And we got another one spun out in the bottom of three and four. Maybe he's trying to stretch the field out a little bit, catch him off guard.
Vargas was pretty much right there with him, but uh, so was the 13 of Mike Christians. He uh, got a good jump there too. Nice battle back there, third, fourth, and fifth. They're really battling it out right now. Dice of the 94 and the 56 to let the leaders go by with not causing any problems so they can race this out. And Vargas is getting racy again. The hard thing is you can't pass a guy when you're driving the exact same line as he is. So he decides to pinch it off coming out of four. Closes him up a little bit. I would expect him to try some kind of dive bomb move into three and try and, oh, and he gets under him a little bit. Adcock shuts the door on him going into one. Not a lot of time left. Looks like we're coming to two to go. Two to go. Adcock and Vargas, one, two. Looks like Adcock saw that two to go, turned it, turned the afterburners on. He's like, nope, you've been too close for too long. White flag, one to go. Vargas gives it a, a good try, but it's Adcock. Ricky, uh, been a while since you've been here. Been a while since you've been here. It's uh, good to see you back in Victory Lane. You've been out here racing hard with these guys for a long time. So, uh, you got anything you want to tell them? I want to thank all these fans for coming out here and supporting the track, all in the facility. My dad for helping me in the pits. My fiance for allowing me to spend as much time as it takes to work on these. And Evolution Chassis, Wilkinson Chevrolet. Thank you all for coming out. I hope you all enjoyed it. All right, good job. Ricky Adcock, your winner tonight in the Mod Light Division. How about it? Let's give them a salute when they come by. Everybody on their feet clapping Everybody when they come on by. Your feet. Southern United Sprint Cars are going to put on a show for us. The American flag fly. Everybody. Here we go. Wave in your hat. Let these guys know how much you appreciate them and all the work they do on their cars. Lights are out. Here we go. Green, green, green. Big jump by the 17 G's for the lead. Leading lap one, Isaiah, followed by the 22 L. Watch out, the 22 L gets a little high coming out of two. Two cars dive underneath him. The 
there's some close side-by-side -side racing everywhere on the track. Isaiah Garcia out front here. Problems to the five as the five pulls it in the infield. The 17G getting into a little bit of lap traffic hey, here. Trying to reel him in. In that 63, Isaiah Garcia in the 17 out front. We got lap traffic with the 5T there. Oh, Burke's going to go around. Oh, gets together with the two. Two loses a spot or two. Oh, we got one on the tire. Still rolling. No, no, no. Still rolling. in second place and on the move. See if he can run down that 17G. So even if you get a good jump, you can't pass the car that's in front of you till you get here. A oh, big move by the two on the bottom there. Trey Burke giving Isaiah quite the challenge. And as they battle, here comes the two car. As the top three have pulled away a little bit, let's see what happens up front. Should get interesting. We're moving into lap traffic quickly. Once again, the top three kind of spread out from the rest of the pack with the 17, 63, and the 2W. Isaiah Garcia was glad to see that lap traffic go by. Sixty-three gets a run coming out of two. Isaiah closes the door on him. Nice of the five car to move over. Oh, and the 63 spins out. Trying to get underneath the, the 17. Here we go.
Isaiah with a real good launch out of two. Seventy-six of Daniel Kings trying to hang on to him, trying to keep within striking distance as the laps continue to count down. Here comes the 76, mounting a charge. Daniel King mounting a charge with lap traffic right in front of him. White flag, one to go. Seventeen G of Isaiah Garcia takes the checkered flag, followed by seventy-six of Daniel King and the seven of Craddock. Hey, seventeen G of Isaiah Garcia. Pretty sharp looking trophy there. I know a trophy guy. Come on. Ah. Try to catch a quick word with these guys. Second place tonight. Daniel King. Um it's wonderful being here tonight. And I gotta thank King's Paint Body, Miller's Granger and RV Park, BLV, uh, my mom, my dad, Chris, 4T4 Racing, uh, Dean Burton, and just everybody that's helped me, and especially all y'all for coming out tonight. All right, see if we can get Isaiah Garcia to have a word. He's all covered in alcohol now. He ain't even old enough to drink. All right, Isaiah. Well, what do you think, man? Uh, how many races is this in the full-size sprint car? Uh, this is my third race in it. All right, third race, picking up a feature win. That's pretty huge. Uh, last race out, 105, you were second. Is that right? Yeah. All right, well, congratulations. Great race. You got anybody you want to thank tonight? Uh, Lubbock Record Service, Kenneth Pearson, uh, Day Motorsports. Uh, I mean, Joe Henry at Day Motorsports. Uh, everything that puts money into our racing to make this happen. And my dad. Of course. All right, congratulations, Isaiah Garcia. So Isaiah started racing go-karts many, many years ago. He was just a little bitty one. Uh, in Corpus Christi, when I was a track promoter at South Texas Speedway, he was the, uh, huh. he was a great little kart racer. He came up through the ranks of karts and then uh, many sprints, and now here he is winning uh, full-size sprint car. So that's pretty awesome. Here we go, folks. Pesic with the jump. Here he comes. Michael Pesic is your leader, followed by Jarrett Barber and then Chuck Barber. Pretty good battle for third there between Danielson, Barber, and Barber. As Ginny Barber passes her dad for fourth place, 
Looking to pass Danielson next. Essex just stretching out the lead right here over Jarrett Barber. Danielson in third, taking on a little heat from the 19J of Jenny Barber. Oh, as the five car spins right in front of the leader. Oh, and we go back green. I wasn't even paying attention, so I don't know if the drivers were either. Halfway down. Pesek with a comfortable lead over the 19 of Jarrett Barber. Robert Danielson in the 87 in the 19 J of Jenny Barber. Caution's out, caution's out. Lights are out, we're going back green. Everybody's a little more awake this time. Pesek just continues to stretch the lead. I like the race. I like the race here for uh, fourth and fifth. Father, daughter. The 19 and the one, the 19 J and the one. Jeannie Barber and Chuck Barber having a real good race there for fourth and fifth.
Caution for the 19J of Jenny Barber. She had it rolling pretty good in fourth place. Now she'll be at the back. All right, here we go. Pesek continues his dominance in this race. Two to go, two to go. Two to go, here we go. Two. White flag coming out. Your winner, Michael Pesek in the 22P, followed by Jarrett Barber, Robert Danielson, Chuck Barber, Joe Boop. There he is, everybody. Hey, your winner, Michael Pesek. Hey, I can't talk to you over there with that car running. Come back over here. Well, finally got that monkey off your back. I did. Thank God. Yeah, took a little. Uh, took a little work. Finally, I did a little work on the car. I did. We did some upgrades on the motor. I changed a couple shocks around, and just put some new tires on it. Did you put you some cheater parts in the motor? Negative. I'm going to have to tell the tech man, look at that. So, uh, got anybody you want to thank, buddy? Go for it. I'm legal. You want to thank anybody? I want to thank my dad, you, for opening the track, Rich Matthias, everybody that's sitting in the stands, my kids, Dosha Klein, at, uh, PDQ Express, Rock Motors, uh, FU Race Cars. That's about it. All right, Michael Pesic, congratulations. Lights are out. Green, green, green. Ben Meklicek jumps out to an early lead with the uh, 30V of Memphis Villarreal. It's tight and close on him going into three. Lynn Fox falls into third. Cord Beard. Right there in fourth. Your leader, Ben Meklicek, coming out of four in the 13M. At 747, trying to roll the top down there in the back. He's trying to work his way up. He knows the only way he's going to go anywhere is get up on the top and give it a try. He's doing the best he can here. 
Ben Maklicek, your leader in that 13M. Memphis Villarreal all over his black bumper, Lynn Fox. Here comes Caitlin Leonard on the inside of Cord Beard here. Caitlin Leonard up to fourth. Oh, and we got a spinner in four. Shannon Maurer keeps it going. Michael Pesek slow on the back straightaway. Memphis Villarreal tried to take a look on the outside. The yellow's out. Lights are out. We're going green. Gaither was definitely took advantage of that yellow. Gaither tried to give the 9C a little shove through the corner. Keep an eye on our fourth place car, Caitlin Leonard. She's oh. got a left front flat on that ride, so she's going to be struggling a little bit with that left front flat on the 9. Villarreal's definitely letting Meklicek know he's there. Meklicek just rolling those tires, just staying right on the bottom, not giving an inch. Ben Meklicek trying to make that car as wide as possible. He knows that 30B of Villarreal's right behind him. Lynn Fox just waiting, ready to pounce.
Westfall getting racy with Gaither. Oh. As Gaither comes around in four. The caution is out. Steve over here, I've been telling him. I've been telling the 30 he needs to clean it up a little bit. He's beating the back bumper off of that 13M. We need good, clean driving. We're not into wrecking, so he's, he, he backed off of him for a little bit. He's got to pass him. That's the object of the game, folks. It isn't wrecking. It's, it's racing. we got to pass people. We can't just beat them off the track. So I didn't say it come out so well, but we can't just beat the heck out of the car in front of you here. So keep an eye on your top two. They're having a great race. Westfall gives the 17E of Fox a shot in the shorts. Villarreal goes to the outside. He said it's time to go. Two to go. Johnny Westfall takes advantage. Got underneath Lynn Fox. That's the groove to have. Coming to the checkers, your winner, Ben Meklicek, followed by the 30B of Memphis Villarreal, the nine of Johnny Westfall. Heck of a race. That back bumper took a beating. Come up here and talk to me. I get too far away and they don't hear me. Well, Ben finally got that monkey off his back, kind of like Pesic did earlier. Uh, ben hadn't had a whole lot of luck here at Texana Raceway Park. Always one of the top front-running cars. He's just... Uh, had Mayo seal the deal till now, so uh, congratulations, good job. You got anybody you want to thank and tell us about it? Oh, for sure. Um, big shout out to Memphis Villarreal for driving me clean. I mean, he can't pass me. The only way he can pass me is move me, and he didn't. He's an awesome driver, and I, he was probably the fastest uh, car on the track tonight, but happy we can walk away with the win. And uh, I'd love to thank Ace Transmissions, Dubs Garage, Dart Pro Services, Texana Raceway Park, CC Wayne Company, James Trailer Supply, Mayak Boatworks, Empire Race Cars, TTR, uh, Tommy Temple and Timco Services, BMI, MMI, KH Suspension, Dirt Defender. And of course, Dad. Wow, that's a lot of sponsors. Here we go. He won the modified race. Now he's on a pole for the limited modified race. The 184 of Brian Rice sticks it in under the BD1 of Eddie Ross. Your leader, BD2 of Jared Boppin, followed by the 89C of Stephen Whitaker Jr. The 14 of Trent Beaver pulls to the infield. Third place, Brian Rye in the 184. Jared Moppin, Steve Whitaker Jr., Brian Rye, your top three.
Looks like Jared Moppin may have learned something from running that modified earlier. Twenty eight M of Mark Mason Castaneda giving the BD one a little challenge here for fourth place. Steven Whitaker Jr. stretching it out from Brian Rye a little bit, trying to reel in the, our leader in the BD2 of Jared Boppin. Halfway, halfway. Oh, as the 28M slips up. And the wily veteran Lawrence Beklicek slides underneath to take over fifth place. Gap up front is closing up a little bit as Steven Whitaker Jr. is closing in on the BD2 a little bit every lap. Does he have enough laps to get there? Beklicek has reeled in the BD1 of Eddie Ross. He's given him some pressure for fourth place. Going to the outside, probably going to turn down underneath him. No, that doesn't work. Allows Mason Castaneda to get closer. Two to go, two to go for Jared Moppin in the BD2, followed by the 89C of Stephen Whitaker Jr., the 184 of Brian Rye. That's your top three. Lawrence Beklicek gets underneath Eddie Ross, move into fourth place. the BD2, Jared Moppin, followed by Stephen Whitaker Jr. in 89C, the 184 of Brian Rye, the 87 of Lawrence Meklicek, the BD1 of Eddie Ross, the 28M 
of Mason Castaneda. All right. Hey, you got anybody different you want to thank this time, Jared? I got to thank Skip Gray again for letting me drive his other race car. Uh, thank my dad for helping me out. Uh, my mom, Alvino, Isaiah helped me out. And uh, ASI Engine, Swinson Shocks, uh, and everybody else for helping us out. Congratulations. Good job, young man. Jared Maupin, two for two tonight. Green, green, green. Brianna Witchie getting hung out to dry from that outside starting spot in the front row. We all clear through one and two. Let's see if we can get this first lap completed. Looking good so far, the 82 of JD Leg, your leader and stretching it out. Followed by the 23 of Dustin Witchy and the three of Gilbert Perez. Brianna Witchy fell into fourth after that start. Looks like she's trying to get under the three of Perez now. car of Daniel Preston looks like he's on the move trying to take over third from Perez blanket over third, fourth, and fifth. Putting on a pretty good show. Oh, is the 43 spins right in front of the, the third, fourth, and fifth place cars. Lights are out. Looks like we're going to go back green. Hopefully they bunch it up here. car of Daniel Preston trying to get under the three of Gilbert Perez down the back straightaway we're halfway home in this one The 
double zero gets by the six car. Oh! And we have a pile up in three and four. And we're going to go green. J.D. Leck continues to lead, followed by Dustin Witchie and Gilbert Perez. You can hear these cars on the on the rev limiter that they have in them. They're getting enough traction to be on the rev limiter at times. Thirty-four car spins to the infield. Dustin Witchie trying to mount a charge in second place with two to go. He's got two laps to get it done. He's got a few lap cars in, his, in front of him. Can J.D. Leg get through lap traffic without Dustin Witchie catching him? Dustin Witchie takes the low side. J.D. Leg takes the top. Witchie comes out the victor in that as Dustin Witchie takes the lead from J.D. Legg. Dustin Witchie, J.D. Legg, and Gilbert Perez, that's your top three in the E-Mods. Out up high when he's going around lap traffic, and I just got lucky and found an opening on the bottom. Yeah, it's absolutely part of racing. You know, you, you get your break sometimes. Uh, today it was yours, not his. Congratulations. Two in a row here at Texana. Yes, sir. Two in a row. We're going to see if we can come back and go, through, go for three. All right. So uh, you feel like picking up the first win helped boost your confidence? I noticed uh, you had to start pretty far back in your heat. You come to the front real fast. Uh, Look like you got that thing dialed in pretty good. You think confidence goes a long ways in that situation? Confidence goes a long ways, and, and uh, last time we were out here, that helped me out a whole lot, and I can't thank everybody that helps me on this thing enough. You know, if it weren't for everybody that gives me advice and talks to me and, and helps me work on the car, I mean, man, I wouldn't have nothing. 10-4. Thank them. I want to thank my dad, my grandpa, my crew chief, Ryan, um, Jeff Norskow, my grandpa, who uh, got to see me win my second one in a row now, so I... Uh, can't explain how much it means to me having him here. Uh, my wife cooking for all the crew every week. My sponsors, Meyer Services, Four Season Services, Big Joe's Tire and Auto, uh, Pure Water and Ice, Promo Universal, Ed Burke's, Coyote Construction. Uh, my Uncle Monty helps me out almost as much as anybody, and he's owner of Dill's Guns. Nice. Well, congratulations. Uh, take it to the tech pad. Good job. Two in a row, Dustin Witchie.